Okay, and let's say we've got a spring with a spring constant K equals 2,000 newtons per meter. Five kilogram mass suspended from the spring, sketched here. There's an equilibrium position. There's five kilograms. I didn't write the K value here. We're going to assume the Y value, uh, the, the, the uh, upward Y direction is the positive direction for this motion. Okay, so what we do, we deliver a blow upward. We give this thing a good punch underneath, giving it a two meter per second velocity at the equilibrium position. Question, what's the equation of motion? What's the total energy? Before you look ahead, you should think through both of these. You might not be able to answer them completely. Uh, energy is easier than this one. But you want to think through both of them before you see the solution. Okay, now, assuming you've done that. Um, if we have simple harmonic motion, it follows that we have, well, let's say so we've got mx double prime equals negative k over m. I'm sorry, negative k times x. We're going to divide by the m, and then we'll get k over m. And that implies, and so forth, this or this. Okay. Again, uh, you can review how we got these equations. They come directly out of the solution of this differential equation. Uh, and the differential equation is easy to solve, so this is perfectly within your realm, okay, within uh, expectations. Okay, now let's use the cosine model. Uh, it would be more natural to use the sine model because we could think of the motion of the unit circle projecting directly on the y-axis so that we would be looking at the sine of the uh, reference position. Um, we'd be looking at the amplitude times the sine of the reference angle. And so this would again be more natural, but I want to use this because we can address the whole question of this theta naught if we use the cosine. So. And there's no reason, no, no reason to use the sine just because that would correspond to motion in the y direction, or to use the cosine just because that corresponds to motion in the x direction. Uh, we could use either model, either way, and the models are completely equivalent. Okay, well, using cosine model, uh, well, first thing we can find, uh, we have information on the initial velocity. It's two meters per second. So using the cosine model, uh, we take the derivative of the y and we get y prime equals negative omega a sine of omega t plus theta naught. And we know that v of zero equals two meters per second. So what we get is negative omega a sine of uh, omega times zero plus theta naught equals two meters per second. And now I said in class that theta naught is pi over two Omega a is two meters per second. We're going to go in a little bit of an extension here because uh, we ran out of time near the end. I was kind of hurrying through this. Uh, I left the negative sign off of this. So that's going to change my theta naught. And uh, my omega a is still going to be two meters per second. So we'll go on with this in uh, another video in an extension video.